We've come to Class Park today and we've talked to lots of young people about their views on climate change. We've got a mix of ideas, mix of opinions. Recently, in this Extinction Rebellion week, we've had a lot of young people speak out in speeches and stuff, explaining how we feel about this situation. People say I shouldn't be doing this. Really, I kind of agree. The adults should really be taking responsibility. Hi, my name is Elsie and I'm 10 years old. We're doing this for you. We're sorry about the disruption. We're sorry, but the disruption caused by climate breakdown will be so much bigger in the future. We're trying to block the traffic, to stop the business as usual, and if it takes getting arrested, then people are willing to do that. I think it's really about making this issue something that everyone's talking about because it's definitely the biggest issue which is facing our generation right now. Climate change makes me feel worried for my future and for the future of generations to come. It makes me question whether or not I want to have a family. Climate change makes me feel upset for the world because the world is dying and nobody's doing anything to help it. If you want to make a small difference, just come down to Extinction Rebellion protests. Just join in any way you can, show your support, and that in itself will make a difference. Protesting is fine, but as people, and in the big numbers that we are, we want a change, and we need to do stuff in our own personal lives. For example, boycotting products that use plastic and things that harm the environment, because that way we can send a direct and powerful message to organisations who are responsible for a lot of the bad things that are happening to our environment. Uh, the thing that will make a big change and will actually mitigate all the problems we're going to face is not individual changes in the general public, it's massive change within the systems of government um, and within industry to facilitate a more sustainable future. It was nice to go around and be able to actually get a point across being in our age group. A lot of the people here were very like understandable that we also have an opinion on this and we also like care about our future because it's not going to be them that are suffering, it's going to be us. I feel like a lot of climate change is kind of rooted in a society where white old men have a lot of power. So I feel like in order for us to tackle that, there needs to be more representation of people, in, people of colour, um, LGBT women as well. We're marching, we're screaming, we're crying, we're striking, we're defying. We are a new generation. We're your children and your grandchildren. We are the voices of a movement that started as a spark and became a wildfire. We are unstoppable. In the climate change like strikes and all the protests that's going on, young people are much more included than actually in politics and with all the politicians that make the ones that are making the decisions about climate change. In this complex issue, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter who you are, what your gender is, what your sexuality is. What matters is that your voice is important and it needs to be heard whether you're an old man or a young woman. It doesn't matter because we all feel really strongly about this. So my message to everyone, especially the grown-ups, is hurry up, we've only got 12 years to do this. Woo!